Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Just want to give a quick shout out and say thanks so much for being the first to comment on my last video. So for today's video, we're going to be using my Square Extra Short Soft Gel Full Nail Covers. These are a bestseller in my Etsy shop and I'm so happy you guys love them. I'll be sure to have a link to them down below. Um, but as you can see, all I'm doing is going in and sizing them out and making sure that they fit my nails wall to wall. I love soft gel full nail covers because they just make the whole process of doing nails so much quicker and easier. Um, if you have problems shaping nails like I do, then I definitely recommend giving these a try because they are a game changer. Alrighty, so we're going to be using poly gel and I'm going to be using some alcohol as my slip solution. And I'll be using the Ohuhu poly gel in the shade N2. So... Um, I'm going to be kind of brief in this video, not going to lie, my uh, dog Archie, you guys know Archie Boo Boo, he just got neutered, so I'm currently like watching him, but I didn't want to not upload this week, so I'll probably only upload once this week, um, but you guys know this method, I just go in literally with a pea size amount and just apply it to my full nail cover, you just want to make sure that it's, you know, wall to wall, um, fully covered and then when you do apply it to your nail if any excess squeeze out around the edges or on the sides you just want to make sure that you remove that before curing um, so you can do multiple nails at once to eliminate the time that your hand is in and out of that UV lamp but I always make sure to do my thumb separately so I know that was like a lot thrown at you at once but I'll be back after we finish applying all five fingers All right, so now we're gonna go in with some alcohol and a lint-free wipe and wipe down our nails before we begin filing. Uh, for my nail file, I'm gonna be using this 80-80 grit nail file that I purchased off of Amazon. It came in a pack of 50 and I got an amazing deal on it. I believe it was like 50 of these 
high quality files for like $7.99. It was crazy. Um, if I can find that deal again, I'll be sure to leave the link to that down below in the description. Uh, but yeah, I'm just going in filing my nails. This is all preference. I like my nails really square, so I file it so it's really square, nice sharp edges. But if you like that squoval look with rounded edges, you can also achieve that with these full nail covers. So now I'm dusting all of this off. If you did do full prep, you can go in at this point and wash your hands and I do recommend doing that. Um, I did not do full prep in this video so if you want to see that, I'll leave a link to a video where I show you my prep routine from start to finish. Um, my thumb looks a little bit crazy, I do know I did fix that. <laughs> but um, I also went in with this NKK gel polish. This is in the shade Naked. Um, this is actually a rubber base coat, and I absolutely love all of her polishes. I'm really thinking about switching over to just doing her system completely because they're amazing. They're super thick, high-quality polishes. You could apply this as a regular gel polish, or you could do structure manicures because this is a rubber base coat. So I am not sponsored by this brand. I have no affiliation. I, I don't even have, I don't even think they have affiliate programs. It's just a small business. Um, we'll... I don't even know if it's that small anymore because she's gained a lot of popularity, but I, I love her brand and I definitely recommend it. This is in the shade Naked, um, but I'm just going in and doing a really light top coat of that just because I wanted my nails to have a little bit more color to them. And now we're going to start our design. So I believe I purchased these stickers off of Shein. And if I didn't, then I'll leave a link to ones that you can find on Amazon because I definitely know you can. Um, but these are my favorite stickers. They're 5D stickers. And I have a whole bunch of these like lacy designs. But this one I found was like kind of like a, a border like around the cuticle area. So I thought it was super cute and it's super easy to apply don't use cuticle nippers like i did use the actual tweezers i just was too lazy to get up and get them um, but i love stickers because they're just so quick and easy for a design half the time like i just i love doing nails but it's half the time i mean i don't have time to sit there and do my nails for like five hours doing super intricate designs like if i were to do this by hand it would take me forever you know what I mean? But I just love, love, love these stickers. They're super classy. Like you can use these for all types of look. Wedding nails, simple nails. If you're a minimalist and you want to just add that little touch, these are perfect for that. Um, but now I'm just going in, wiping my nails down a little bit more. You just want to make sure that that sticker is fully adhered. And then I'm going to top off my nails. So I'm using Model 1's top coat. This is my absolute favorite top coat. In the world I absolutely love it and you can purchase this off of Amazon the bottle is super big like I'm thoroughly surprised um, I was using an old bottle I got a while ago but they upped the size of the bottles but they didn't up the price so I'm highly impressed um, I did top off my stickers but not fully um, it's kind of hard to explain like as you can see I'm like topping off around the edges I do recommend topping off the whole nails to Kim you know complete the look and make sure that they do stay on 
Um, but the last and final step is cuticle oil. I'm using Rose Cuticle Oil. This is also available for purchase in my Etsy shop. And I'm just applying that to my cuticles, rubbing that in. And here's the final look. A super simple, super adorable and easy look. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave me a like, comment, and subscribe. I love you guys so, so much. And I will catch you in my next video, most likely next week, like I said. I'm so sorry for not being so consistent, but it's just been a little rough with my baby Archie. So I'll catch you guys next week, and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your weekend. Bye-bye.